Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and today we'll be going to do my very first Falcon haul. Let's get going. So, new place. Ta-da! I finally have all my books here. I missed it so much. But um, I will have and like a book organization, bookshelf, tour and all that so that will be coming soon so I have filmed everything and all of that but I am excited to do my very first book on haul, on haul so I, and I have a lot of them but um, yeah so let's just get going so my first book is The Flash, um, The Hauntings of Barry Allen so I think this is actually just kind of a uh, mean tale of like the actual Flash TV series. So and you know we're just following the life of Barry Allen and how he became the Flash since he got hit by the lightning. So we're just following him in his steps as he becomes the hero of Central City. And um, why I am on holiday because I'm just never gonna read it and it's been in my shelf since for so long. So. I'm just gonna unhaul it and still in a pretty good condition. So I'm hoping the library will take it. Otherwise I'm gonna have to find somewhere else to do it. So and my next book is Harry Potter and the Cursed Child by J.K. Rowling. As well, I think everyone knows about this. It's we're following Albus Potter and his life throughout Hogwarts and so and all that stuff. So I hated this book. I think I gave it two stars. So I don't know, I'd just be really disappointed about it, but um, yeah, I just didn't really like it and there's just no point for me to keep this book anymore, so yeah, that's why I'm getting rid of it. My next book is Wonder Woman by, so this is like the movie novelization of Wonder Woman, and we're just following how they are this becoming Wonder Woman, so. I watched the movie, I really really loved it, I watched the first movie, I really loved it. I still have to watch the second one, so I don't know when that will happen, because it's been, been out for so long, so. But, I'm just not gonna read this at all, so might as well just give it to someone who will read it. And my next one is Awaken Magic by Sasha Loving, so I kind of forgot what's happening, but when Danielle, Daniela and Liz stumbled on the way to transform themselves into witches, they didn't realize that magic had an agenda of its own. If they had, Johnny would never have been dragged away into the night. In the course of a horrifying creature, and Dan's new best friend, Alexa, would be safe in their light, far away from the danger they have awoken. If only they had known that the magic was wicked. So I think this was supposed to be like a Sabrina the Teenage Witch kind of thing, so... I didn't really like it, I hated it, it was boring, nothing was happening, and it just felt too slow, and I didn't really care what was happening. I do want to mention that I did talk most of these books in my TBR. There are some where I haven't talked to them, so I was going to give my two cents in it, but otherwise, for the most part, I would just not, you know, give you what I didn't like, cause, because I have already talked about it. If you want, I do have my worst books of 2022, I think it was, so I did so the major majority of here is in that list, so that's that. And my, I feel like this is going to be a controversial book because of who the author is, and that is Eliminate by Amy Kaufman and Jane Kristoff. So again, it's going to be controversial because of who the author is. I did like it, but I really, really did like it, but because now I know what the author did, I just don't want to support them anymore, so. This one's gonna go. My next one is Legendary um, by Stephanie Garber. This is the second book. Yeah, no, it's the. Oh my gosh. I think this is the second book. Yeah, I think this is the second book. So, because the first one is kind of well, which I also want to get rid of. Do I have it? I'm sure it's in this pile somewhere, but I hated this book. Nothing was happening, and I just don't want to keep it anymore, so I just don't want, I just don't care about it. My next one is The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Nist. So again, I did talk about it. I still have my bookmark. I am still on that page. I hated it. Like, why did he have to kick the dog? Like, what did the dog ever do to you? Honestly. 
So, and I know I'm never gonna go back into this, so that's what I'm getting out of it. And my next one is Not Here to Me Light by Michelle Clash. From what I can remember, we have two businesses and... Hang on. And Eliza is also has like a Korean business that she's selling. But then this new guy comes in and he's selling K-pop merch and all of that stuff. So and now obviously they're competing, but obviously, but yeah, and they're competing. So oh, well that makes sense then. I just noticed a warning. This book contains an unlikable female character. No wonder I know like Eliza. She was really really annoying from what I remember. I hated her. That makes sense now. Wow. But regardless though, I still did not like her actions and what she did to to the boy. So even if she even if there is this scene, it does not excuse her actions. And my next one is What's Above What's Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garber. So I'll be following imaginary folks and she is how was it go? She believes in true love and happy endings until she learns that the life of that the love of her life will marry another and she basically ruins the wedding by making a deal without print with Jack of Hearts, the Prince of Hearts. And she basically turned everyone to stone and then she got saved, something like that. So I hated this book and so I just didn't really care what was happening. I still don't understand where vampires came in and everything was just really really slow. However, I did really like the sequel. I thought it was way better than the first book. I did read it as an audio book, so that's why I don't have it physically. But regardless, I'm just gonna get rid of it because I did not like this at all. So my next one, again, it's also controversial because of what happened with the author. But I actually bought the book before the drama happened, and that is Have Some Dragons by Jessica Clues. And honestly, I don't remember what happens at all. Half five houses were here in the call to compete for the dragon throne, a liar, a soldier, a servant, a thief, and a murderer who will answer it, who will win. So, because of what the author had done, I just don't want to support that kind of author. I think she went and, oh, uh, what was it? I think she like actually kind of insulted the author of We Hunt the Stars. So she was going to be a racist to him. So. I'm sorry, but I just can't support this kind of behavior, so that's why she's going. And my next one is Miss Purgeon's Home for Peculiar Children by Ransom Riggs. And basically, a mysterious island and abandoned orphanage, a strange collection of peculiar photographs. And always to be discovered in Miss Purgeon's Home for Peculiar Children. And then, so, it's also based off in the movie as well. I mean, it's cool because we also get like all these photos so all these creepy ones but um yeah so I just know I'm never gonna read it I have watched the movie I thought it was okay but um I'm just never gonna read this book so that's why I'm getting out of it and my next one is Frozen the Sin Story again we all know the story of it it's just the uh, graphic novel of the actual Frozen movie, so I'm never gonna read it. I have watched the movie like three times in a row, so this is more of an um, impulse buy, if I have to be honest. It's, it was more of an Im impulse buy, so this gotta go, so I'm never gonna pick it up, and um, yeah, there's just no point keeping it around. My next one is Forging Silver into Stars by Magic Camera, and Again, I did talk about this, and we have four royals, two thrones, one deadly curse. I did talk about it in my worst books, and I just hated it. I think everything was so slow, and nothing was happening, and everything pretty much kept repeating itself. So, yeah, so again, this book is going home, and maybe someone else will really, really love it. And my next one is Lord by Alexandra Blacken. I have bought her new one. A sword, oh my gosh, what's the, what's the call? A sword and broken something like that. I can't I can't remember, but it has the word sword in it, so I'm hoping it'll be better than this guy. But basically, from what I remember, is that every seven years we have gods who is being like a mortal, and they have to serve the punishment of going to earth. 
but it's also been described as a Hunger Games kind of thing. So, um, yeah, but I just felt so lost and confused. I thought everything was going too fast. And there were just way too many actions and nothing was really balancing because of the too many actions. But um, it has been a while. This is where I have been left off. And I know I'm not going to go back and read it, so I am getting rid of this guy. And my next one is Bail to You by Sylvia Day. So this is kind of supposed to be like Fifty Shades in that sense. And he was beautiful and Billy and Jack and white hot. I was drawn to him as I had never been to anything or anyone in my life. I craved his touch like a drug, even knowing it would weaken me. I was flawed and damaged and he opened those cracks in me so easily. So from what I can remember, I didn't really like this because I thought it was just stupid. It was just stupid, so I don't think I had actually finished reading this book. But, um, so I know I'm not going to finish reading it and it's gonna go. My next one is Red Queen by Victoria Avion and we're basically having Mare Barrows who is whose world is divided by blood so I think she has like silver and red silver is like all royal and female and red is like man who is a peasant and all that but then she decided to go to the palace for something and so except her blood is red to hide this impossibility the king forces her into the role of a lost silver princess and Peach wants her to one of his own son. So, that's basically it. And people have been comparing this to Men Rising by Pierce Brown, but I kind of do see similarities between the plots, but I still think that they are different. One is in space, one is in Earth. But, um, I didn't like this book. I was just so annoyed. I think I was on like chapter 27 that I so I was really close to finishing it, but I just gave up in the end. I was like about that much into finishing it. And honestly, from what I can remember, I just didn't really like it at all. I don't think nothing was happening and it just seems so silly. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it just seems so silly. So I'm just getting rid of this one and I know I'm not gonna ever need it. And um, my next yeah. mug is Batman Arkham Knight. So I think this is a novelization of the actual video game Arkham Knight. But, which is a fantastic game, by the way. So I do love Batman, he's my favorite hero. But, um, so I, it's the same thing with The Flash. I know I'm not gonna ever read this book, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. I have seen and played a video game, but um, I'm just never gonna read it, so it's gonna go. Ah, and here it is, so Crown of Oz, Stephanie Godwin. So basically, we have Donatella and someone else, Scarlet, and Scarlet got like a got a note from the legend saying, "Hey, let's go to Carnival, basically." And then she goes, and some strange things happening. So something, I think that's how it is. So Scarlet Dragon Dragon has never left Tiny Island where she and her sister Tella live with the powerful and cruel father. Now Scarlet's father has arranged a marriage for her and Scarlet. Thanks to the dream of seeing kind of well, the final way you might see a performance when the audience participates in the show are over. So, so then, yeah, but then she gets a message from the legendary saying that they are invited to go to Carnival and they have to solve, like, all these puzzles to win. So I, so the same thing with legendary, I just didn't really care about this at all. I think I gave it three stars, but... Who knows why I gave it three stars, I just can't remember at this time at all. But I know I'm not going to reread it again, I just didn't really like it that much. Um, I think it was Scarlet who really annoyed me with her stupid choices. Like everything she does is just, like why? You always have to question why she does it. So, I'm just getting rid of it for the sake of my mind, because... Yeah, I just don't care about this book at all. Well. My next one is A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Maas. My 19-year-old huntress fan kills a wolf in the woods and beast like creature arrives and demands retribution. Dragged to a treacherous magical land she knows about only from legends, Fear discovers that her captain is not an animal but tablet, one of the lethal and mortal fairies who once ruled the world. So I give it three just, I kind of enjoyed it, but I'm just not, I just don't want to support this book anymore because I'm just over it and I'm not. And Sarah can also be controversial in her own right, so 
and I'm just, I'm just so tired and supporting of controversial. So I wish I had done more research before buying certain books. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm just gonna get rid of it, and I, I'm just never gonna buy anything from her again, except for Catwoman. She did more Catwoman. I thought it was pretty decent, but. As for these guys, huh, I just don't want to. I just don't want to see it. I want to get rid of it. And my next one is My Dreams to Sin by Janella Angel. Janella and Angels. And basically, we have in a city common and nice and new, and a group of magicians face off in a daily game of magical feats to find the next headline of the conquering circus. Fame and glory are waiting to win it, but no constant and safe when an unseen danger begins striking behind the scenes. So, I did reread this twice, I'm still in the same chat page, but I just can't finish it anymore. I thought the main character, I forgot what her name was, Kalia, I thought she was just way too overpowered, and I feel like nothing could go wrong her way. So, I did touch up, so that's why I'm not talking about it too much, but this was my second time reading it, but I'm just... Got a lot. Speaking of Pierce Brown, we have Red Rising. I was so bored with this book, but basically, Dara is a man, a member of the lowest caste in a couple of corner society of the future. He works all day, believing that he and his people are making the surface of Mars livable for future generations, but Dara and his kind have been betrayed. Soon he discovers that humanity reached the surface generations ago. Vast hitties and sprawling parks spread across the planet, and rats like him are nothing more than slaves to the thick and bull, rolling caste. Now, Daryl will sacrifice everything and stop at nothing to bring down his enemies. So, I hated it. I also found it a little bit too confusing, and I feel like the author didn't really explain what most of the gadgets are. So, I think, but like, they sound really, really cool, so I wish the author took its time to actually gain the meaning of what each gadget do and does, and so that's only the one thing, and honestly, I didn't really like Dale at all. I thought he was annoying, but I wish I had liked this book, but it was just wasn't for me. Again, I have talked about this book, so I'm just giving some small summaries. So I have actually recently talked about this book, and that's A Day of the Fallen Night. It's the sequel of the Priory of the Orange Tree. This was in my main audio book, so I'm not going to touch up too much, but basically I thought it was too wordy and a little bit confusing, but I actually think it was the priority of the orange tree is a little bit better, better because of the world building. And here we didn't really have that much of world building, so, and I just found myself being more confused, so I'm just going to get rid of it, even though this guy is a big one. But I'm just not gonna read it again. And my next one is A Darker Shade of Magic by V. E. Schwab. So we have Welcome to Great Lauder, Dirty and Boring Without Any ma Magic, with one Matt King, George III. Then there's Red Lauder, where life and magic are revealed, and White Lauder, a city slowly being drained through magical war, down to its very bones. And once upon a time, there was a Black Lauder. But no one speaks of that now. So, again, I have no excuse, but um. I just thought it sounded really cool, I didn't thought I would get to it, but I'm never going to get to it, so I'm just going to let it go. My next book is Once Upon a Time, Red's Untold... Sorry, I thought my phone was ringing, but it's just me. So this is Red's Untold Tale by Renny Tolliver, so I think this might be based off the actual Once Upon a Time series, which I love. I miss that show so, so much. So, um, I don't know, I'm just, I didn't read it once, but again, I'm just not gonna pick it up. I'm not, I can't remember if I liked it or not, but I just know I'm never gonna uh, read, it, read it, so, yeah. And look, but it has black edges. Oh, it's so pretty. I really don't want to talk about this book again, but that is... The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Tyrion Jenkins Reid. I have talked this book so many times. It's all my worst books of 2023. Two stars. I was annoyed with it. Didn't care what was happening. Although the half of the second book was getting better. But that's about it. So, I'm getting rid of it. I hate it. I think this is where PJR and I are parting ways. I just can't seem to find a book that I really love. But... 
made of pine rains. And also from Team 3 Art, it's Melon Blazing. I thought it was cool. Even the color looks so fun. But I'm just now gonna meet it, so I'm just gonna get it off. Although I have read it a bit, but I was been getting to be bored with it, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. My next one is Cinda by Melissa Maya. So this is basically I feel like it's like dystopian almost. Where we have Cinderella as a robot, like a mechanic, a cyborg, as she has to deal with the mysterious past that is real life by her stepmother. I tried to read it, I couldn't really get into it. So I just DNF'd it and um yeah, so I just couldn't really get into it. And it, it was like a really cool concept, but it wasn't for me. And again, one a frozen heart, we know the story. I just want to get rid of it. I know I'm not going to read it, so I'm just going to get rid of this book. And then this one is Spending Summer by Nora. Mira is not a grand of money lenders, but her father's inability to collect his debts so left his family on edge of poverty. Until Miriam takes matter into her own hands. Holding her heart, the young woman sets out to claim what is own and Mira's gains. A reputation for being able to turn silver into gold. So I Again, I thought it was an interesting read, but I just didn't like it. From what I can remember, I just hated it. It was just really so slow. I got so annoyed by it. But um, this one is also going home. And my last one, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes by Suzanne Collins. I mean, this is the prequel to Hunger Games and the Falling Snow. And things are going bad, so I don't like this book at all. I thought it was really unnecessary and it was just writing about what we already know, which is really disappointing because I actually thought we were going to get something new, but that never happened. So I did talk about this in Worst Box of 2023, but I just hated it. I thought it wasn't necessary and um, I'm just going to get it rid of it. And those are all my books on the unhaul that I don't want to have anymore. So it's a long one. And I hope you like this video. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Like what books you are going to unhaul. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.